Hi, my name is Virginia and I'm a current freshman at Cornell University, double majoring in math and economics. I am a DECA alumni from the Glenark High School chapter and I'm so happy today to talk about my DECA experience. DECA was really fun for me and I ended up doing pretty well in the competition my junior year. I got second place for the entrepreneurship series category for states and I also was an international finalist. Um, so I'm here to answer some DECA questions. First is, what skills did you grow in DECA? So I'd say the biggest skill that I grew in DECA was learning to present my ideas, learning to present myself. Um, I think the role plays prepare you very well for that because you're given so little time and you really need to hit on like the major points. So DECA really made me, help me think clearly, communicate clearly, and just become a better presenter overall. Um, the second question is, what DECA tips do you have for outfits, role plays in general? Uh, my biggest DECA tip is practice. Just practice those role plays. And I don't mean like going over the terminology or anything like that. Not flashcards. I mean like literally sit down, find someone. It can be preferably like someone industry professional, but also can be your parent, can be your friend, as long as you guys are taking it seriously. Um, sit down, give yourself 10 minutes to repair, and then 10 minutes to present if you're an individual role play. And that applies, cross applies to if you're um, in a partner event as well. So practice as much as you can, um, especially leading up to the competition. You wanna make sure you're on your game. Um, and the third question is, how have you seen DECA apply to your real life? So at Cornell, I am in a consulting club on campus called 180 DC. And given that it's consulting and we have to make a lot of presentations, a lot of DECA skills have transferred. So again, I talked about the most important skill that I learned from DECA was those presentation skills. Well, now for consulting, I have to make case presentations, have to make sure I'm only given like 10 or 12 minutes to speak. So have to make sure all the slides are good and that I'm effectively communicating what I'm trying to communicate. Um, the fourth thing is what is a success you are really proud of and how did DECA help with that? Um, a really big success was getting into the consulting club that I'm currently in. I'd say that Cornell club recruiting is pretty intense, um, had multiple rounds of interviews, um, and not just interviews, also market sizing, technical portions, stuff like that. Um, I think DECA has really trained me to have like the discipline to prepare for situations like that, but it's also prepared me to speak well in an interview. Um, and then I'd also say that DECA, this kind of goes back into the third question, how it applies to real life. Um, I would say the networking at DECA is something I wish I took more advantage of. And I want to make sure that everyone makes the most use of that. Um, I'm networking so much. Um, DECA helps me with that by like teaching me like networking is really important. So start early, get your LinkedIn out there and just uh, network with people when you're at states, when you're at nationals wherever you are. And then the final one, the fifth question is, what is your favorite deck of memory? My favorite deck of memory is definitely State's junior year. I love State's, I think it's a lot of fun because you're with your most of your chapter and um, you're just kind of around, running around in Atlantic City and you know getting to meet people, doing going into the DECA downtown, having fun. But also junior year, I ended up winning second. I really didn't expect it, but it was really rewarding to see um, kind of the fruits of my labor, kind of to see like, oh, I put the work in and something came out of it, like I won. So it was all really cool. I'm really grateful for DECA for giving me the experience to be exposed to like business and industry early on and also learning to kind of communicate myself clearly. So it's definitely made me a more well-rounded person and I'm so excited for your DECA journeys in the future. Well, thanks for letting me speak. Bye. Hello everyone. I just wanted to give you a reflection on my time in DECA and how it's helped me uh, now that I'm a DECA alum. So the first question is, what skills did you grow in DECA? I think one of the most important skills that I developed in DECA were my speaking skills and the ability on how to balance academics and extracurricular clubs. Uh, that's something that's really important in college as well because you're gonna be doing a lot of club work. Uh, a tip that I have for role plays in general is that you just need to be confident in yourself. A lot of these judges don't aren't necessarily experts in what they're judging. So as long as you can come across that you know what you're talking about, that can be a good way to place well in your role play. Um, always make sure you're wearing business professional too. That means no open-toed shoes.
I remember Angie had that issue last year at Districts. I've seen a lot of the DECA skills I've gained applied to real life now that I'm in college. Um, there's so much networking you need to do, especially to get internships or trying to get into clubs, but also academic and extracurricular and social life balance is extremely important in college, and DECA helped me develop some of those skills. Um, one success that I'm really proud of is landing and thriving in my internship after senior year over summer 2024. It was a business development internship and I really learned a lot about uh, the startup world and I felt having DECA on my resume and these business skills really helped me to land this internship. So that's why DECA was so important with important to me. And my favorite DECA moment was definitely going to ICDC in 24 in Anaheim. It was a gorgeous place and going to Thrive Academy was an amazing event because I felt like I learned so much. But it was also just a fun trip in general because I got to go to Disney and um, spend time with friends. Uh, I miss Glen Rock High School DECA and uh, I hope you all have a great year as a chapter. Hi, my name is Angelina Mango. I'm a DECA alumni. I did DECA three out of my four years at Glenmark High School. My junior and senior year, I was vice president and president. And those two years, I qualified for states. And my senior year, I qualified for nationals through the community service project. I am now a marketing major at the Fordham Gabelli School of Business. I am really happy to be brought back to reflect on my experiences in DECA because, to be honest, the second I stepped foot in college, my immediate thought was, thank God for DECA. Um, Glen Rock High School is privileged enough to offer such an amazing program, and especially if you want to be a business major in college, DECA gives you all of the soft and hard skills you need to have a really good foundation. So the first question is, what skills did you grow in DECA? Specifically, presentation skills. In college, as a business major, presenting is the most important skill you need to have mastered off the bat. At least for me, most of my projects and assignments have had the largest weight specifically on my presentation skills. So even if you're not familiar with the content, being able to stand in front of a crowd confidently and have a really engaging and reflective delivery is super essential. Um, especially going into your freshman year, they'll throw a bunch of things at you like internships and networking and all of these different things. And the one thing that connects all of them is presentation. Second is what DECA tips do you have for outfits, role plays in general? Outfits always have a very business professional outfit with you. DECA is an opportunity early on to have bought that, but that same outfit you need to be bringing with college, at least for me, I didn't realize how often I would need to be wearing business professional attire. Uh, it's a requirement for some of the clubs I'm in, also for some office site visits I'm in. Um, you will need it a lot more than you think you will. So make sure that for girls and guys, you have good pants, a blazer, a good undershirt, and high quality shoes. Very important. Um, for role plays, practice. Practice is really important for role plays. When I was in DECA, I found so many resources online, like practice prompts, quizlets, even just talking with family and friends, constantly finding opportunities to engage in different types of conversations is really essential and will help you tremendously in your role plays. Um, and also mastering the ability to think quickly on the spot. I think that kind of ties into the idea of sticking with your gut. The first idea that comes to your head, stick with it. Trust me, it will help you. 
how have you seen DECA apply to your real life? In college, um, I'm a part of a club called Smart Woman Securities, very, very similar to DECA. Um, it's the idea of coming up with um, a presentation and using that to compete. Um, so the ability of presenting, of researching, um, has definitely stemmed from DECA. And also, I recently was accepted to be a part of the Fordham competing team for a case competition that is hosted by the American Marketing Association. And most of my application consisted of my DECA experiences. Um, you know, the qualities of leadership, organization, teamwork, um, DECA has definitely helped me. <laughs> um, what is a success that you're really proud of and how did DECA help with that? I would kind of tie back to that opportunity um, in college, you'll realize that uh, case competitions um, are huge on your resume. Um, so having the DECA experience, unlike a lot of other different students across the world, um, don't have that privilege. Um, so DECA, use it on any application your freshman year. And what is your favorite DECA moment? Um, I would say going to the competitions, meeting so many different people, um, it not only is just fun talking to different people, but it introduces you to the idea and importance of networking and stepping out of your comfort zone and getting to know more about people because in the end, those strangers will be your connections. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for having me back and I wish you guys the best of luck on your future competitions.